Hi everyone, it's Jean from Sew It Themes. Thank you so much for tuning in and um, going on a journey with me as I put together an Alice in Wonderland journal. In fact, I'm doing two journals and this is the cover uh, of one of them. And um, I'm going to further um, use Artie Mays' uh, digital download. Uh, you get a page, this wonderful, wonderful page of tickets, some flags, uh, tabs. It's, uh, it's really a fun page to, to play with. In retrospect, I should have printed these out on um, a cardstock, but I did print them on, you know, pretty good heavy paper, weight paper. But for what I'm going to do with them, or I, what I ended up doing with them, it would have been better if I'd put them on cardstock. Uh, but that's okay because, you know, I'll just glue them on the cardstock. What I'd like to work on today are three things. I would like to work on these altered paper clips. And here's a couple of them there. And I'd like to work on these tabs. I'm, I'm borrowing a really neat idea from Brooke, the bookmaker. And I will put a tab down... Uh, a link down there to her, to this particular video uh, where she has it in a journal she's already made and it's just a fantastic idea so I am borrowing that idea from her um, so first of all are these tickets and this is really an easy way because they're so they're so beautiful that you could add stuff to it for sure you could for sure put on some lace uh, buttons you know you can really dress them up but they're also very nice by themselves let me just sort of get a little closer there and um the first thing i do is let's see if this is nope that isn't exactly long enough the first thing you need to do or i need to do because i don't have them on on cardstock However, I guess in retrospect too, um, maybe it's good I didn't because it does make this next thing a little easier and I'll show you why. Um, so first thing I do is I fold this down. Very nice. Uh, hmm, I forgot to bring over my uh, burnishing tool, but anyways, there's that. And then I will glue on. Now, it's important that, um, oh, I'm so sorry. I do have to step away and get a paper clip. So just a second, please. I will just step over here really fast. Here are um, some colored paper clips I got at the dollar store. I thought these would be really fun to work with. And let's, um, let's choose this pink one here. And put this on here so um the first thing that i found out when i was working with this is that eventually what you want to do is you want to be able to slip this up like this like a sandwich oh wait a minute it's not quite right either um yeah i have to cut the other part now let's cut that part so I can show you a little bit better. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to slip this in here like so and fold this up and glue it together. And it's like so, so fast. Uh, now if you had the fold, if you folded, you know, if you, if the, uh, if the, if the paper clip went this way, or the image went this way and you put the fold up there, so you really couldn't do that. Um, this isn't really a good example because this could go either way. Just like in, in like this, for instance, it goes, this is the right way for it to go. And um, so the fold has to be down below. And so if, the, if you want your image to be this way, let me look at that writing probably the image needs to be this way and the fold needs to be down here like so so that when you slip this on then you can just glue the pieces together if this makes sense anyways so that's the way I did it 
So we will just, uh, and maybe too, if I had clipped, if I had actually made these on, um, put these on cardstock in the beginning, I wouldn't be able to have this fold down here. So maybe it's a good thing. Oops, I'm doing it wrong already. Oh no, that was right. That was right. Here, you might as well put it over here. That way I can get another one on the other side. There we go. There. And then I hold them together and then we'll just cut them out together because your original is sort of like a template for you. So I just cut it out like that. If if these were uh, if they if the digit if the digits um, came, you know, with a space below them, um, you can then have it on. But then, you know, you could actually have one side. Oh, well, never mind. I'm getting off on the tangent. Squirrel, squirrel. Yeah, it's time to get back here and concentrate. So uh, there's that. And this is just a little too far out on the edge there. There we go. And I'll just ink it up. Oh, it still seems like it's wanting to be trimmed, doesn't it? There we go. And I'll just ink her up like so. And we will get um, the paper clip here. So you want the little side to go on the inside and the big side to be on the out. So the short, or I should say maybe the short, the shorter side, this one here goes on the inside like so. Now, um, a lot of people hot glue this, which is, I think is a really good way to do it. I just am too lazy to get out the hot glue gun. So what I usually do is I take my double sided tape I do use this quite a bit actually and just put it down in a couple places here like so so that the um, paper clip will remain secure and we'll glue up the rest of it. Nicely like that. Now, what's nice about these tickets here, and this goes on so quickly. I mean, together it goes together so fast. What's nice about these tickets is that you can put it on your page. You know, this way. You can put it up like this way. You can put it on a page that folds out that way. You've got you know different ways to use it. And that's what, what's nice about these tickets. Now, probably we'll do a lot of it like this, especially, you know, with this, with the image going up and down, I'll probably use it at the top more or less, but some images can go either way. Now, what I was trying to explain before is like, yes, you put the, you can print this all out on um, cardstock and just cut out two uh, tickets and squish them together. Um, but, somebody's going to be up there actually um somebody will be upside down and somebody will be right side up so it, it could be done that way but you're kind of wasting one of the images because it's it's like on the back and it will be hidden in there but you know it, it all depends on how you want to do that um so that is the ticket one, which is really cool, easy way to do. And then we have the flags, I thought were very nice looking as well. Now the thing about the flags, you have to remember, is how is it gonna go on your page? Is it gonna, you know, you have to decide, do I want it to come in on the right side or do I wanna come on the left side? Because this is only a right-sided page, uh, 
type of uh, paper clip. And uh, my suggestion would be is to make sure you make a variety, you know, make ones that go this way, make ones that go this way. So you kind of have a little variety and they're not all stacked on one side of, of all the pages. Um, so that's the only thing you have to kind of think about before you start. And the same concept of folding it over applies here as well. So I'm going to use this real cute one. That's so cute. Uh, the same concept applies, only this time you're going to put the fold up on top. So we'll just put it in there. Okay. And you just fold it over. And these are a lot of fun too. You can definitely add. Uh, you can you can definitely add more to these. Or I, I think that they do wonderful just standalone as well. And we'll just put it on like this here. And then we cut both sides out at the same time. Okay, I'm going to do a little inking on this sides. Of course, I'm probably inking this side for nothing because you're not going to see that side. I think I feel like a little bit's coming off here. Let me just put a dab there. Oh yes, yeah, so I got glue all over my hands. There we go. This little flag is done. And easy peasy. You're just going to, again, the short side goes on the inside. Oh no, excuse me. On this one, you are going to, golly, I'm getting all confused here. You're going to wrap it around the bottom uh, because I want this now to be you know going in on this direction because this one's going the opposite way I'm just gonna put in the bottom and what you can do um, is you could make another flag so let's say if you made another strip down here out of maybe printed um, out of a book page or something like that you could you could wrap a couple of these little flags, you know, on the side. Oh, but, you know, one by itself is really quite nice. So we'll just glue these two together. And we have another altered paper clip. So yeah, this is nothing new, um, but I just wanted to show you how I'm using her digital, uh, Artie Mays' digital printouts. And there's all kinds of ways you could use them for sure. This is just one way. There. Okay. So now we have a really cute little, uh, two little altered paper clips that took hardly any time at all. Really cool. Uh, so I think I knocked my table. I'm sorry. You got bouncy there for a minute. Now, the idea with these um, little tabs that are in here. And let's see if I can find, no, not quite. I'm trying to find one of my scrap pieces here. No, I might have to make up a whole new scrap piece. Uh, and that is, we're going to need to put it onto cardstock. Oops, I think this is the one I really wanted to use here. 
We're going to have to put this on cardstock. And cut around it. Try to wiggle the whole thing on. And you'll see why we need to have it on cardstock in a moment here. So get it up to that edge. And just cut this out. So a nice thing about DigiKits as well as uh, as also is that you know each of these little designs can be a template for you to use you know with oops, I'm, I'm off camera sorry sorry um you can use these templates you know to cut out other papers uh, that you might have which is kind of cool so there we go we kind of go in here and just around there so here we have our tab backed up here and now we'll ink around the edges of this one so this idea is going to be so neat until i show you all right i'm going to fold that nicely there so that it meets up okay yeah once you've done that take your hole punch kind of go in the middle now I don't want to go too far to this edge because it's going to be a little wear and tear on it. So you don't want too much room, but then you don't want to go too far this way because your page, when you put onto your page, it's going to be across here. Because when you put your page on, at least what I do anyways, is I put it in there so you don't want it, you know your hole to be there that will show the page then I got some fabric and I got this really neat fabric that has actually it has cards on it isn't that cute <laughs> that is just so cute so cute okay and then you tie it in here like this right and now you can tie it and I think a knot for me is just is too much. So what I do is just tie it once. Um, I think it depends, of course, on the thickness of your fabric. Uh, but anyways. There's that, and just cut it off about that much. And then when you put it in your book, I'm going to cover my glue up. When you put it in your book and you put it on a page, you've got this really cool, let me get the um, cover here. you got this really cool, uh, tabs sort of like peeking out at the edge of, of your book I think that's going to be like so so neat I'm looking forward to getting these um, all done that way I just think that's was a, an incredibly nice you know good idea I think I might even go back in um, maybe put a whole reinforcer here I don't know I'll have to think about that uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty stiff because of the, um, the 
cardstock. It's got good cardstock in there. So anyways, I think that is such a, a clever idea. And I'll put her link down below that you can investigate more. So those are the things that I wanted to show you today using Artie Mays' kit. And next time I will show you some more. So if you're interested in seeing uh, the progression of this Alice in Wonderland book, then please subscribe down below. And if you liked what you saw today, please click the like button. And thank you so much for viewing. Talk to you later. Bye.